Two high school girls, Emily and Lily, were engrossed in their evening study session. Their concentration broken only by the gentle rustling sound coming from the wall behind Emily's chair. At first, they exchanged puzzled glances, wondering if it was just their imagination playing tricks on them. But the sound persisted, like a tiny creature was trapped and desperate to break free. Ignoring it was not an option for Emily and Lily. Did you hear that, Lily? Emily asked, her eyes fixed on the blank wall. Lily nodded, her brow furrowing with concern. Yeah, it sounds like something's stuck in there. Determined to find out what was causing the commotion, Emily grabbed a flashlight from a nearby shelf. She carefully approached the wall, directing the beam of light along its surface. Her heart sank when she spotted tiny claw marks and a small hole. It looks like something's trapped inside, Emily said, her voice trembling with worry. Without hesitation, the girls decided to take action. They didn't know what creature was trapped, but they couldn't leave it suffering. Emily fetched a toolbox from the garage, while Lily brought a cardboard box to place against the wall, ensuring that whatever was inside couldn't escape and create a mess. With tools in hand, Emily and Lily began to carefully dismantle the wall, piece by piece. Each nail they removed brought them closer to the source of the mysterious sounds, and the anticipation only heightened their curiosity. The rustling and scuffling sounds grew louder and more desperate with each passing minute. Finally, after what felt like an eternity, a small, furry face peeked out from the hole they had created. It was a squirrel, its eyes wide with fear, tiny paws frantically clawing at the wall. It's a squirrel, Emily whispered, her voice filled with relief. They gently coaxed the trembling squirrel out of the wall and into the cardboard box. The little creature was clearly frightened and disoriented, having lost its way inside their home. It was a forest dweller, and the suburban house had proved to be a daunting labyrinth. The girls handled the squirrel with utmost care, recognizing its characteristic sounds and behavior. They knew it had to be returned to its natural habitat, where it belonged. Emily and Lily carefully carried the box outside, into the backyard, and released the squirrel near the nearest trees.